What's up everybody, Arctic Platypus here, bringing you another video. It's about Rainbow Six Siege this time, I've never done a video about this. But I'm going to talk about the potential operatives and weapons that might be in the next year of Rainbow Six DLC. It's not really DLC, it's a free update system, but if you buy the Season Pass, you'll get all that stuff. But they recently announced that we'd see Poland, Spain, South Korea, and Hong Kong. So that's going to be really cool. I'll go right into Poland. The, the CTUs we're probably going to see are going to be the BOA and the SPAP. They're just parts of the normal police force, but they're specialized in anti-terrorism. And then the pistols we might see, the P83 Winod is one of them, fires a really small, small round, the 9x18 Makarov, and it has an 8 round magazine, so pretty small capacity. It could be in the game, but... Uh, I'd also think that the Walther P99 might be in there too. Just fires the generic 9mm round. And it has 12 or 14 round magazines, so that's definitely better than the than the Panod pistol we just saw. Then over to the Uzi. This could be an SMG for the game. And they could probably put the mini Uzi in if they wanted to do an SMG sidearm. But you, most people probably, probably know that Uzi just fires the 9 mil around, 600 rounds per minute. Has a lot of different magazine size options. Most generic is the 32 rounder. Um, kind of a slow rate fire SMG compared to some of the other ones in the game, but could be pretty fun to use that one. Uh, let's go on to another SMG that might be in the game. It kind of resembles the Uzi, but it's actually made by Poland. It's the PM84. And, um,. It also fires the 9mm round, but some of them fire a smaller 9mm, the same one as the P the Wonod, so 9x18 Makarov, some of them fire that one. Um, but they're, they actually do fire a bit faster, some of them. Most of them fire around 600 rounds per minute, but some of them fire around 750, 770. So, I mean, that could be another option. Or maybe they might have the Uzi and that one, but I'd probably only suspect one of them to be in the game. For the shotguns, we're probably going to see a Hotson Escort shotgun. Holds five rounds, or four plus one. Um, it's a semi-auto shotgun, and it is used by the Polish operators. And then onto assault rifles, we're probably going to see, or I would like to see at least, an AKMS. So the AKM fires the same round as the AK-47, which is the... 762 by 39 round and it, but the difference between the AKMS and the normal AKM is that it has a folding metal stock so it's a little bit more compact um, but yeah it's pretty commonly used among the Polish then if they want to put a sort of sniper rifle slash semi-auto battle rifle type thing they could do the SVD the Dragunov um, fires a much larger round, the 762 by 54 millimeter rimmed round. That could be in the game as well. And that's pretty much all the weapons I have allotted for the Polish. I'm going to go on to Spain. And for Spain, the CTUs we might see are the Grupo Especial de Operaciones, or in English, uh, the Special Operations Group. And we might also see the Unidad Especial de Intervención, which in English is the Special Intervention Unit. Um, and for their weapons, let's start with sidearms. We're probably going to see the USP Compact. I know we already have the USP Tactical in the game for the GSG-9 operators. But the USP Compact is much smaller. It might uh, fire a bit smaller round sometimes. But there's a lot of different cartridge options, so it's probably just going to be the same general uh, 9x19 round. Holds 13 rounds in the gun. And then on to a potential SMG, um, the Star Z84, and it fires 600 rounds per minute, a lot like the Uzi. It's a really small gun, so it might have a lot of recoil, 25 or 30 round capacity. That I could see that definitely as being an SMG for the Spanish operators. And for assault rifles, there's quite a few different options here. A G41 made by Heckler and Koch. Um, holds 30 rounds in the mag, just normal 5.56 mags, and uh, 
850 rounds per minute, so that's pretty fast. It's a pretty long gun, too. You could see it being an attacker's weapon, for sure. And then on to a potential battle rifle type gun, the G3SG. Um, basically, the only difference between the G3SG and the G3 is an improved trigger. And it just fires the 7.62 NATO round, pretty powerful round, 500, 600 rounds per minute. So pretty generic battle rifle, probably a lot like Capitao's battle rifle. And then on to another potential shotgun. It's the HK-512 uh, shotgun, semi-auto. Holds seven rounds in the mag, plus one, so you could you could hold eight. It fires normal 12 gauge. Um, it could be a cool shotgun. It looks kind of wooden. It doesn't look like the normal shotguns in the game. And then if they want to do an LMG, they could throw in the Set Me a Melee. It looks an awful lot like the MG42, so that could be fun to use. It fires 800 to 1200 rounds per minute. Really damn fast. Um, it fires a 5.56 round, though, so it's not as beefy as some other LMGs. Could be fun to use that, but honestly, LMGs aren't that great in this game. And on to the Hong Kong operators. Probably going to be the special duties unit. Like, I don't see any other possible counterterrorism unit they could put in from Hong Kong. And to the weapons of these guys, um, they use the Glock. I could see this would be a great time to put in the Glock. They've held off and putting in a Glock for such a long time in this game. Um, just the Glock 17 or 19, just the normal 9mm, 17 round mags. Um, could be really good to have that in the game, I'd be pumped. I love Glocks. On to the Smith & Wesson Model 10 revolver, and actually one of, the, one of the oldest guns that might be included in here, from 1899, so it's just a normal revolver. We might see that in there if they want a more powerful pistol for these operators. And we could also see this the P250 made by SIG. I don't know. I'd rather see the Glock for sure. Onto an SMG, we might see the Type 85 submachine gun. Fires the 762 by 25 millimeter round. So that's a pretty good intermediate cartridge right there. It's a lot bigger than some other SMGs. And then onto a potential assault rifle. We might see the SAR-21, um, and it's a bullpup assault rifle. Fires the 5.56 round, normal stand ag mags. Fire 450 to 650 rounds per minute. That's pretty slow, honestly, but it is a pretty quality gun. I think a lot of people like that gun. I, I would enjoy seeing that in the game. Probably compare a lot to the L85. Um, over to another potential assault rifle, the SG-516. Um, it's only semi-automatic, and they might decide to throw it in there. They could probably throw in a PDW version or CQB version for defenders, and they could have some fun throwing it in there. I don't know if they're going to do it. They possibly could. Another one is the SR-16 made by Knight's Armament. They could throw that in there. just a generic looking. It kind of looks like the R4C, which Ash has, but it's I, could, I think it is full auto. And then onto a shotgun, the Ithaca 37. Really cool looking shotgun, using a lot of crime movies and stuff, but it is used by the special duties unit. Um, and then on to the South Korean forces. So uh, we might see the 707th Special Mission Battalion, which focus on counterterrorism. And for the guns, uh, for the pistols, we might see the IWI Jericho 941 fires a 9 by 19 millimeter normal 9 mil round. Um, holds 15 rounds in the mag. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Um, or we could see probably the USP 9, one of those. And then onto the SMG, I can only really find one that might be used, and it's. The Daewoo Telecom K7, and it's an integrally suppressed 9mm weapon. It fires 1,100 rounds per minute. That could be really fun to use. Uh, they'd probably have to give us more recoil than the MP5. 30 round mags. Um, that would be a lot of fun to use for sure. And then on to a potential shotgun, the kel KSG Bullpup 12 gauge shotgun. It actually has two tubes. So it holds um, like 15 rounds, 
and it's, that's pretty awesome in my opinion so that we could see that in there that'd be cool um onto assault rifles slash carbines if they wanted to do a defender getting a carbine like they did with jaeger they could probably put in the k1a assault rifle um pretty short 556 five, uh weapon and then for a full-on assault rifle they could do the the daewoo k2 rifle fires 556 five, as well 750 rounds per minute pretty awesome looking weapon i could i could enjoy using that in the game for sure if they want to throw in an lmg they could do the daewoo k3 and you know a lot of these guns are from daewoo because south korea decided to buy a lot of weapons from daewoo but the k3 they could throw it in there 900 rounds per minute it's a pretty beefy looking lmg and then if uh, this is kind of a special weapon here kind of the last one i'm going to talk about it's the k11 by daewoo and it actually fires either airburst rounds or normal 556 five, rounds and on top it fires like the airburst rounds from up top and um kind of cool it's like a little it's a small grenade launcher it's not as big as a 40 mil by any means it's like 20 mil grenade launcher um that could be really fun to use for like a special like, gadget i could see that being a gadget it'd be kind of like buck's shotgun it would be like you'd have the weapon and you'd switch to that little grenade launcher type thing that could be really fun to use i didn't really think of any other um special weapons that might be included for operators but i think it's kind of up just up to the developers to decide what kind of special equipment they might give to each operator so this is just all the weapons that i think could probably be in the game but i mean like with the deeg from the um dust line operators i mean they might just throw in some random weapons that are not actually used by these forces but i'm sure that the um the ctus that i mentioned are probably going to be in the game and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you want to see more content like it you can subscribe um, thank you so much for watching guys have a fantastic day